You're listening to Inside Insight, the podcast that dives into the latest innovations and strategies in manufacturing, distribution, and Dynamics 365 Business Central. Brought to you by InsightWorks, this show features our hosts, Ryan and Emma, as they bring you expert conversations, industry insights, and practical advice to help you stay ahead in this constantly evolving world. All right, so today, let's uh, dive into something that I think a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Have you ever felt like you're kind of like outgrowing your tools? Yeah, definitely. And I don't mean like literally, yeah. but uh, like the software that you're using just can't keep up with what you need it to do. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem that Horizon Stone was facing. Yeah. Um, they create these really beautiful stone veneers, but their accounting software, QuickBooks, was really starting to hold them back. Yeah, that makes sense. So think of this deep dive as a lesson in you know, knowing when it's time to level up your tech game. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. QuickBooks is really great for a lot of things. But uh, once you get into kind of the intricacies of manufacturing, it starts to show its limits. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah. It's one thing to track invoices for, you know, freelance work or something. Right. But like managing the entire life cycle of like a physical product, mm -hmm. that's got to be a whole other level. Absolutely. Horizon Stone was dealing with raw materials, complex production processes, and every single finished piece needed its own unique serial number for tracking. Ooh. QuickBooks just wasn't really built for that level of detail. Okay, so picture this. You're trying to bake a cake, right? Okay. But instead of measuring cups and spoons, you're just kind of eyeballing everything. Uh, uh, Things yeah. could get pretty messy pretty fast. Yeah, a recipe for disaster. Exactly. And that's basically what Horizon team was dealing with. Yeah, and that's why they decided to call in some experts. So they partnered with a company called Ace Micro. Okay. And Ace Micro is a Microsoft partner that specializes in helping businesses find the right technology solutions. That's a smart move because it's kind of like, you know, you could try to renovate your house yourself. Right. But sometimes you need a contractor who really knows what they're doing to make sure it doesn't all fall apart. Precisely. And in Horizon Stone's case, Ace Micro recommended that they make the leap to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Okay, so Business Central, is that like the magic bullet that solved all their problems? Well, let's not call it magic. Okay. But it was definitely a huge step in the right direction. Okay. Business Central is an ERP system, so that stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Okay. Think of it like the central nervous system of a business. It connects all the different functions like inventory, production, sales, and finances. So instead of having all these like separate systems that don't talk to each other, everything is like integrated and streamlined. Exactly. I'm starting to see why Ace Micro recommended this. Yeah, and specifically for Horizon Stone Business Central, offered a bunch of features that QuickBooks just couldn't handle. Okay, like what? Well, for example, advanced inventory management, including the ability to track, you know, those all important serial numbers on each finished piece. Oh, so no more losing track of which stone veneer went where. Exactly. That's going to be huge for a company like Horizon Stone. Absolutely. And Business Central also brought tools for production planning and forecasting. So, you know, they could anticipate demand and manage their resources more efficiently. Mar Plus, the reporting capabilities were much more robust. Okay giving them a really clear picture of how the business was performing down to the nitty gritty details. So basically Business Central was like, hold my beer QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. I got this. I like that. But I'm guessing there's more to the story, right? Yeah. Even with this fancy new system, where there's still some areas where Horizon Stone needed a little more help. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't a complete fix right out of the box. <laughs> Yeah. While Business Central was great for, like, the big picture, managing their warehouse operations was still a little bit of a challenge. Oh, interesting. You'd think with all this, like, fancy software, keeping track of what's in the warehouse would be a breeze. Right. What was the issue there? Well, think back to those serial numbers. Right. Each stone veneer is unique. Right. And Horizon Stone really needed a system that could track those seamlessly in real time, right. right there on the warehouse floor. Gotcha. Business Central laid the groundwork. Yeah. But they needed something to kind of bring it to life in the warehouse itself. Okay, so they needed a way to connect those big picture insights from Business Central to the hands-on reality of what was happening in the warehouse. Exactly, and that's where Ace Micro came in again with another recommendation. Oh. An app called Warehouse Insight, which integrates directly with Business Central. Okay, so if Business Central is like the brain this Warehouse Insight app is kind of like the hands, you know, getting things done on the ground. 
I like that. Yeah. I'm picturing workers with like tablets or scanners zipping around the warehouse like a well choreographed dance. Yeah, that's a great way to visualize it with Warehouse Insight and some mobile devices. They were able to streamline picking, shipping, and most importantly, that serial number tracking okay. became incredibly accurate. So no more digging through piles of paperwork trying to figure out where a specific batch of stone went. Exactly. I bet that saved them so much time and headaches. It did, and it wasn't just about efficiency. Yeah. It also had a huge impact on their data accuracy. Right, because before with QuickBooks, it was all manual, right. prone to human error. Exactly, especially with those serial numbers. Yeah. I can see how that'd be a nightmare. Yeah. One wrong digit, and suddenly you're sending the wrong product to a customer. Yeah, not good at all. But with Warehouse Insight, that risk was really minimized. No. Workers could scan items as they pick them, updating the system in real time. Whoa. It was like having a GPS tracker on each individual stone veneer. Wow, that's impressive. And I'm guessing this newfound accuracy had a ripple effect on other parts of their business? It, did you know, think about quality control. Yeah. With this accurate tracking, they could instantly pinpoint any issues. Oh, wow. And trace them back to the source. So if a customer had a problem with a specific stone, they could figure out exactly when and where it was made, what materials were used, even who worked on it. Exactly. That's a level of transparency I think most companies could only dream of. And it made their quality control process much tighter, and it really helped them build trust with their customers. Yeah, that makes sense. And speaking of customers, this whole system upgrade also made their order fulfillment process much smoother, too. Oh, yeah, because I remember you were mentioning earlier that their old system was, you know, a bit chaotic. Yeah. Relying on lots of paperwork and double checking and things. Right. Did Warehouse Insight kind of help with that? Oh, absolutely. They were able to ditch a lot of those manual processes yeah. and really streamline everything. Workers could use their mobile devices to you know, access pick lists, electronically scan products as they picked them, even generate shipping labels right there in the warehouse. So it's like having a digital assistant guiding them through every step of the way. Exactly. No more running back and forth to the office for updates or trying to decipher someone's you know, messy handwriting. Yeah, exactly. And because everything was integrated with the store, business central inventory levels were updated in real time. Oh, wow. This meant that Horizon Stone always had an accurate picture of their stock. Okay. And they could make better decisions about reordering and production. So no more frantic last-minute scrambles to find a moving product or disappointing customers with delays. Right. I bet their customers were pretty thrilled. They were. And, you know, it wasn't just about keeping customers happy. Okay. This whole system really helped Horizon Stone be more strategic with their business decisions, too. Okay, so that's what I'm really interested in. Yeah. We've talked about like the nuts and bolts of the software. Right. But how did this actually translate to better decision making? Well, for one thing, they finally had a clear understanding of their true production costs. Okay. You know, with QuickBooks, it was a lot of guesswork. Yeah. But Business Central allowed them to track everything, raw materials, labor overhead, with incredible precision. So they knew exactly how much it cost to make each stone veneer. Exactly. Which I imagine made pricing their products a lot easier. Exactly. They could set competitive prices yeah. and still ensure a healthy profit margin. Yeah, it's huge. But it goes beyond just pricing. Huh. Having access to this real-time data allowed them to make smarter decisions about production planning and inventory management, too. So they could see which products were selling. Well, anticipate demand and make sure they had enough inventory on hand without, like, overstocking exactly they went from being reactive to proactive yeah and that had a domino effect on their overall efficiency less waste lower storage costs faster lead times it all added up it's amazing how having the right information at your fingertips can transform a business mm. but what about the people involved yeah did the employees at horizon stone embrace these new systems you know that's a great question and it's something we can't overlook right you can have the most sophisticated technology in the world and if your employees aren't on board, it's not going to be very effective. Makes sense. Yeah. So how did Horizon Stone's employees react to this big tech upgrade? Yeah. Was there any pushback? You know, I wouldn't say pushback, okay. but there were definitely some initial hesitations, which is completely understandable. Right. Change can be challenging, especially when you're used to doing things a certain way. Exactly. So how did they get everyone on board? I'm guessing training and support from Ace Micro played a role. Oh, absolutely. Ace Micro provided comprehensive training. 
yeah, and ongoing support to make sure everyone felt comfortable with the new systems. But I think what really made a difference was that Horizon Stone's leadership did a great job of communicating the benefits of this change okay. and really emphasizing that these new tools were designed to empower employees, not replace them. So instead of feeling threatened by the technology, uh -huh. they saw it as like a partner that could help them do their jobs better. Exactly. I like that. For example, the warehouse workers who were initially hesitant about using the mobile devices quickly realized how much easier it made their jobs. Wow, wow. No more trying to decipher handwritten notes or running back and forth to check inventory. Right. They had all the information they needed right at their fingertips. I can see how that would be a game changer, and I'm guessing that sense of empowerment extended to like the office staff as well. Mm. You bet no more hours spent manually entering data or reconciling spreadsheets. Right. Business Central and Warehouse Insight took care of all that automatically, yeah. freeing up their time to focus on more strategic tasks. So instead of being bogged down with all this tedious admin work, uh -huh. they could actually use their skills and expertise to help the business grow. Precisely. And that had a really positive impact on morale and job satisfaction across the board. Yeah, I bet. People felt more valued, more engaged, and more invested in the company's success. Sounds like Horizon Stone really hit a home run with this technology upgrade. They did. And it's a great example of how the right tools can not only make a business more efficient, but also create a more positive and empowering work environment. It really is. So what can our listeners take away from Horizon Stone's experience, even yeah. if they're not in manufacturing? Are there any kind of universal lessons here? Absolutely. I think the biggest takeaway is that you don't have to be a massive corporation to benefit from enterprise level software. All right. We tend to think of these big fancy systems as being for like, you know, the Fortune 500 companies. Yeah. But Horizon Stone shows that even smaller businesses can leverage these tools to their advantage. Exactly. And it's not just about the software itself. It's about finding the right partner to guide you through the process. Right. Ace Micro played a crucial role in helping Horizon Stone assess their needs, choose the right solutions, and implement them effectively. They were like the Sherpas guiding them to the summit of tech success. I like that analogy. And another key lesson is that digital transformation isn't a one-time event. Okay. It's an ongoing journey. So it's not like you just flip a switch and suddenly you're a tech-savvy company. Not at all. Technology is constantly evolving. Right. And businesses need to be adaptable and willing to embrace new solutions as they emerge. It's about staying ahead of the curve and always looking for ways to improve and optimize your operations. Makes sense. It's like you don't just learn to ride a bike and then never have to adjust to like a new terrain or a different type of bike. You have to keep learning and adapting as you go. Exactly. And Horizon Stone's story is proof that companies who embrace that mindset can achieve remarkable results. It really is inspiring to see how they went from feeling limited by their old systems to thriving with a solution that truly supports their growth. Yeah. But I'm curious, what advice would you give to our listeners who are maybe thinking about embarking on their own digital transformation journey? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, don't be afraid to embrace change. The tech landscape is constantly shifting, and the businesses that thrive are the ones that are willing to adapt and evolve. So be open to new possibilities and don't get stuck in that we've always done it this way mentality. Exactly. And don't try to go it alone. OK. Find a trusted partner, someone like Ace Micro, who can guide you through the process and help you choose the right solutions for your specific needs. Yeah. Having that expert guidance can make all the difference, especially when you're navigating a world as complex as you know, business technology. Absolutely. And finally, remember that technology is ultimately a tool. Okay. It's up to you to define how you'll use it to achieve your business goals and empower your people. So it's like a hammer can be used to build a house or to break things down. Right. It all depends on the intention and the skill of the person wielding it. That's a great analogy, and I think Horizon Stone's story beautifully illustrates that point. Yeah. They use technology to build something better, a more efficient, more connected, and ultimately more human-centered business. Well said. This has been such an insightful deep dive, and I'm sure our listeners have gleaned some really valuable lessons from Horizon Stone's journey. Yeah, it's been a pleasure exploring this story with you. And with you, dear listener. Remember, just like Horizon Stone, you too can leverage technology to unlock new levels of success. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in your business.